Hi, I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Investment Pitch Media. Thank you for joining us today. Eximin Mining completed airborne LIDAR and magnetic surveys during its 2022 field season at its Amelia property in southern British Columbia. The Amelia Gold property, located near Mount Baldy in southeastern British Columbia, is within trucking distance of a gold processing facility at Greenwood. The Amelia property covers historic Camp McKinney and the Caribou Amelia gold mine. The Caribou gold vein was discovered in 1887. Production at the mine started in 1894 and continued until 1903. The vein terminated to the east in a fault. In 1957, an extension was discovered by surface diamond drilling and the mine was reactivated with production continuing until 1962. According to BC Minfile documents, the Caribou Amelia mine produced 81,000 602 ounces of gold, 32,439 ounces of silver, 113,302 pounds of lead, and 198,140 pounds of zinc from 112,254 tons milled, with the average recovered gold grade reported as 24.68 grams per ton gold. The general area originally known as Camp McKinney is host to 15 polymetallic and precious metal quartz vein, scarn, and placer gold mineral occurrences on the property. The main vein, the Caribou or McKinney vein, which is offset by several north trending faults where it was mined, is a gold quartz vein hosted in metamorphic rocks of the Paleozoic Anarchist Schist. Other veins include the Wyerton and Eureka veins, which are possible eastern and western extensions of the Caribou vein. Nearby parallel veins include the Minnehaha, Dolphin, and Sailor veins. Further out are the Anarchist vein to the southwest and the Fontenoy vein to the east, which strike at a high angle to the Caribou vein. In October 2020, the company reported results from a total of 34 rock chip grab samples, with 10 of the samples returning significant gold results, as high as 103 grams per ton, three of which also returned significant silver results. Results. In 2022, Eximin started to reinterpret the geological structure of the mine area, aided by 3D modeling of the vein and cross fault structures. A patchwork of small geological, geochemical, and geophysical surveys are being compiled using GIS. The results of this work, together with the new magnetic and LIDAR surveys, will be used for generating targets for exploration drilling. The magnetic results will be used to interpret the distribution of rock types beneath cover and identify possible demagnetized zones associated with mineralization. The LIDAR will be used to identify fault structures and to provide a detailed topographic base. Eximin is continuing to advance its conceptual fast-track development schedule for the Kenville bulk sample. In addition to the 100% owned Kenville and Amelia gold mines, Eximin Mining also owns owns 100% interest in the Brett Epithermal Gold Project. Eximin also owns the Treasure Mountain Silver Project adjacent to the past producing Holdra Silver Mine. Currently, the Treasure Mountain Silver Project is under an option agreement with the option partner making annual staged cash and stocks payments as well as funding the development of the project. Eximin's shares are trading at $0.05. Cents. For more information, please visit the company's website, Eximin miningcorp.com. Contact Christopher R. Anderson, President and CEO at 604-488-3900. For investor relations, contact Sophie Cesar at 604-488-3900 or by email at ir at miningcorp.com. I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Investment Pitch Media.